Let me ask you a question. If you order a large fry, does that mean these fries taste better than the small fries? When it comes to Star Wars The Black Series and the Vintage Collection, you got two different sides. You got the people that say six inch is better and then you got people that say 3.75 is better. What makes the figure better? The articulation? Is it the detail? Or is it just the options of figures that each line has? When you look at these two side by side, you can nitpick and see which ones are better, but tell you the truth, it's all personal preference. This video was not created to start a war with my fellow collectors, nor was it to start a riot in my comment section. This video was made to let you guys know why I think Star Wars The Black Series is the same as Star Wars The Vintage Collection. Now this right here, this Bib Fortuna is six inches and I believe the 3.75 Bib Fortuna definitely beats this one. At least some soft goods on this, but this Bib Fortuna looks worse than the 3.75. Changed my mind. Wait, before you destroy me in the comments, hear me out. I know some people, they do not like the soft goods. Some people think the soft goods make the figure look worse than they already do. I'm not saying these look bad, but do you hear me? Some people think the soft goods kind of suck. But for this Bib Fortuna, I think the way his robe is stitched and the colors and the way that the robe overflaps each other, I guess that's what it's called, overlays. And with the blue inside, I think it's perfect. And I think the six inch Bib Fortuna would have benefited well with the soft goods. On the right, we have a Luke Skywalker Stormtrooper, and on the left, we have a Mandalorian Stormtrooper. This is as close I could get to a comparison for the Stormtroopers. For the six inch, we got a pretty nice bucket, as they say. The helmet's not bad, nice sculpt. I really like the little lines you can see within the gray. I like the black outlines around the gray area as well on the helmet. And then you got your standard chest plates and shoulders, and then you got your legs and knees, and then you got your shoes, I mean, nothing too much. And for what they are, I've always loved the design of the Stormtroopers, and I always will. OG trilogy for life. And then we have the 3.75 counterpart, but as you can see, it still has some detail. It has the gray, but they're not outlined with the black details, but I'm not really too mad about that, but for what it is, it's still good. The chest plates have really nice detail. I love the detail in the knees as well. And as you can see, there's really good detail all the way down, even to the boots, the same as a six inch figure. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, you can nitpick and say this one is better because there's black outlines around the gray and this one doesn't, but does that mean this figure is better because it's not outlined in gray? As we turn these figures around and get to the back side, you can see there's still excellent amount of detail in both figures. Side by side, the detail is pretty much on point with each other. The consistency is there. Articulation, 3.75, six inch. The 3.75 Stormtrooper, his arms could bend all the way back and pretty much Naruto run on you. And then we have the six inch figure and this is about as far as its arms could stretch. I guess you could say it's more realistic because I guess that's how far humans arms can stretch. But when you're photographing toys and you want figures to have broken limbs and dead troopers somewhere, yeah, you want the articulation to bend in weird places all the way back. So when it comes to articulation for the Stormtrooper, this is kind of what you get. You get a starfish. And with the articulation of a 3.75 Stormtrooper, you get a trooper that looks like he's ready to do something. So which trooper actually is the better trooper? Is it the Dentist Collection or the Black Series? Let me know in the comments. Now before you say, hey, well, those aren't the same. One's from The Empire Strikes Back and the other's from The Mandalorian. I mean, they're troopers. You guys get the same idea. There's not too much you could do to change them. Next, we have Moff Gideon, the Black Series, and the Ventus Collection side by side. And at first glance, they're almost identical. So we'll start with the six inch Black Series Moff Gideon. His head, yes, excellent. It really does look like the actual actor. His suit, from the ridges to the belt to the little creases in his garments, 
Very great, very great, very excellent. And the same for the vintage collection, Gideon. The head sculpt is really good, and he still has the same rigids in the belt, which I just noticed as the Black Series counterpart. And even in the gloves, rigids there, rigids there, the creases, everything from the boots to the cape is pretty much dead on. As we look at the vintage collection Gideon, you can see that his left eye is kind of messed up. And the six inch, his eyes aren't really too messed up. They're actually pretty accurate. They're pretty even on both sides. And there's actually no errors on this one, in my opinion. And this is when another nitpicking issue comes up. Which one is better? The Black Series or the 3.75? A lot of people will say the Black Series because you might get a more accurate face painting than you will when you purchase the Vintage Collection. But if you are a customizer, that's not going to really matter at the end. So it's up to you which one you guys think is better. Personal preference. I hope no one got upset with anything said or explained in this video. I just hope you guys see it as my opinion and just that. Now we just go to figure of the year. We got my boy Lando right here. Six inch black series and we got the 3.75 vintage collection. I don't want to say identical, but let's just say these do look alike. Let's just start with the obvious. The cape. Hard plastic, soft goods. But that's not the real issue here. This is the real issue. Why is the 3.75 head sculpt better than the six inch head sculpt? Which one's more accurate? You tell me. So for the body sculpt, they're pretty much the same. There's not too much you can do with a blue suit like the one Lando wears. But for the detail aspect of it, the belts are pretty much accurate. The boots, the pants. The only thing that's different are the double jointed knees, but that's pretty much about it. So at the end of the day, these are different figures, but are they or are these the same? Now we get to a figure where I think the 6 inch Black Series outdoes its 3.75 counterpart. So the 6 inch Black Series Hondo, he is a Target exclusive Galaxy Edge figure that I was lucky to find. And when I seen him, I just fell in love with this figure. So after I started building Sky Bottom, I knew I needed a 3.75 version of him. And this is what I got. As you can see, the 3.75 Hondo, his coat is a more vibrant red as to a six inch counterpart, which is a more burgundy. And I believe that darker color fits the aesthetic of Sky Bottom. But Sky Bottom, you said if you're a customizer, it doesn't really matter. I know, but I just haven't gotten around to customizing them. And sometimes a lot of people don't want to customize figs. They just want to open them up and just throw them in their settings. As we take a quick look at the backside, you can see the six inch figure. The straps on his jacket are painted and the ones on the vintage collection or not. I'm thinking maybe since these are a Galaxy Edge exclusive, they put way more detail and way more time and that's why they charge a premium price for this figure. So yeah, sometimes Black Series figures are better than 3.75. For example, right here. But that doesn't mean this figure is better than this figure. In spite of the color scheme being a little bit different, these figures are the same. As we get to this next part, let's focus on the sculpts rather than the figures themselves. As we start looking at the boots, you can see the detail in both are pretty accurate. The definition of the lines and the cuts of the boots are still there. The creases in the pants. The Scarif Trooper actually has a more accurate sculpt, which is good. So you guys can see that the detail is there. Even the belts are even more accurate. And here's a quick look at the backside. You can see they're pretty much the same or different. Okay, so you might be understanding me a little bit more when I say that these two look the same or pretty much are the same. Now, some people say, well, Black Series is better for photography. The Vintage Collection, you know, there's not that much detail or articulation. Well, I believe that 3.75 figures are better for photography, especially the Vintage Collection, because it's more affordable to army build. And when you're army building, your photos are gonna look that much more dramatic. Now, don't be too harsh about what I said in this video. That's just how I feel. Everything that I say on this channel is just how I feel. I don't really try to say, well, this is right and this is wrong. It's always about how I feel. But honestly, I still feel, and you can't change my mind, that Star Wars, the Black Series, and the Vintage Collection are the same.
Before you guys go, check out this Lando Mando Commando.